Hi. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. I'm back. I am still alive. Uh, I've been having problems with my camera, so I apologize if I go out of focus because I most likely will at some point. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I, you get two videos today. <laughs> uh, make up for the long time of me not posting, I guess. Uh, this video is kind of just a, an update and a clarification. <laughs> I didn't really think through, um, my video with, you know, the they, them pronouns thing. <sighs> I kind of want to redo it, but, um, I just, I, I wrote in the, like, the description box, but I just want to say here, too, again, the soup can label metaphor thing is a horrible, horrible metaphor to use. <laughs> because, especially if, you know, if you chop my video apart, it, you could make it look like I am saying something bad. That, you know, you can't change a chicken noodle soup if you ch change the label. It's still chicken noodle soup. Like, a person can't change their gender, you know, they're still gonna be male or female or whatever. I am not saying that. I am not saying that at all. It is scientifically proven that you can't change your gender on a molecular level. Obviously, you can't change your DNA, can't change your chromosomes. You can only change what's physical, you know, um hormones and and body stuff okay what i was trying to say with the suit thing is that <laughs> not really so much to do with gender but more with labels that you know in that can of soup doesn't matter what labels on it um it's 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 still soup which, again, I'm not saying, like, oh, they can't change their gender. I just mean that labels are shit. Labels don't mean anything. We are obsessed with labels as a society. You know, we should, we should be able to just live our life and not have to put things into a box and label things. But we do, and that's how it is. That's how society is. So labels exist. And I'm just saying that it doesn't matter... It doesn't matter what you call yourself. It doesn't matter if you say you're a boy or a girl or an alien. You're still, you're still a person that deserves love and acceptance and friendship. Who the fuck cares if you say you're a boy or a girl when you were born one way or the other? Sorry, my phone went off. It's just a label. Now, I'm not saying that it's not important. I'm just saying that who just people need to just let it go. People get so hung up on it. It's just a label, okay? That's all it is. It's arbitrary. It is completely arbitrary. <laughs> uh, that that's that's what I meant. You know, not that it's not possible that they can't transition. I just meant who cares? It's you know it's. I don't eat chicken noodle soup, but we'll, we'll pretend that I do for this example. You know, I'm still gonna, if that can of soup tastes good to me, you take off the label, it's still gonna taste good to me. It doesn't matter. So you're, you are a friend and you come out to me as whatever. Guess what? You're still gonna be my friend because I don't care. <laughs> you're still my friend. You haven't changed any. And that's all I mean. That it's, it's just... They're just labels. They matter to the individual person because that is their identity. <sighs> but that doesn't mean that we should treat people differently. But we have not figured that out as a society. <sighs> okay, <laughs> I'm done with that. If there are any homophobic or transphobic comments, I will delete them. I don't want to get into it argument about it. I just, I said my piece. That's it. <laughs> um, I, I mean, 
I myself am bisexual. I go by she, her pronouns. And that's what makes me comfortable. I am a furry. I'm a freaking furry. And that makes me happy. And some people hate furries. Some people just want to hate something. <sighs> Anyways. So yeah, so I'm back, sort of. <laughs> uh, I just had some time today that I could do a video and I needed distraction. Uh, the situation, my back is better. I don't have a hurt back anymore, that's good. My dog, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's been on chemo now for two and a half months. He's apparently supposed to be on it for a year. No thank you. He's 13 years old. I may only have a year or two left with him, period. I'm not going to spend that year with him, with him being on chemo. I'm going to, the vet doesn't really want me to stop it, but you know what? It's my dog. I'm <laughs> going to stop it. And I can't even really afford it. That's shitty to say, but I, I really, truly, I just can't. To be honest, I just really can't afford I mean the pills themselves aren't quite so bad but it's with all the the testing and like, he's supposed to get an ultrasound and it's I can't I can't afford it 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 costs more than I get in disability for a month for a whole month that's it's more than my disability paycheck for one test that who knows if it'll show anything I I'm waiting for a call back from the vet um, to get their opinion on it because <laughs> I don't know how how dire it is that I do this ultrasound or not so we'll see I don't know when I'll be posting I've obviously got my own shit to deal with um, That's about it. <laughs> that is really about it. I want to come back. I want to come back more regularly. Um, when I have something more to tell you guys, I will let you know. And uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll just we'll have to just see. I guess that's it. See you in the next one, which will hopefully, you know, <laughs> not be a whole other month from now. <laughs>